to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to do a bag check on my bag, and I'm, a I'm actually going to say why you should carry three to four rackets in your bag. This is my bag. I used to play with a Burn 100, uh, customized obviously, because I like heavy rackets, two by fours. Now, I haven't found a bag that I like more than this yet. So that's why it's all kind of beat up because I've had it for, man, four years already. Uh, so, and, and I know from looking at a bunch of your guys' bags, you know, that or the people that comes in here, they look worse than this because, you know, a bag is really hard to give up because you're so used to the compartments um, and where you put things. So it's um, easy to hold on to a bag for 10 plus years. Uh, I've seen that firsthand. So let's get started. Let's see. So bag check, just like on Tennis Channel, if you guys ever seen it. All right, let's start with my shoes. New Balance, Lav, Fresh Foam, right? So that's pair number one. Pair number two, A6, Court FF2, uh, sometimes called A6 Court FF Novaks. The reason why I have these two different shoes is depending on where I'm playing and how I feel that day. If I'm playing on a harder court. Uh, there's pretty much all hard courts here, but on some of the courts, there are softer materials like the uh, plexi cushion. Uh, when I'm playing on that, I like the, the firmer feel. When I'm playing on a, a straight up hard court without the you know softer surface, I like the softer uh, shoes for a little more padding and cushion. Um, if I'm not feeling so, let's say, balanced that day, uh, I tend to go more here just because there's a wider base and it's firmer, harder for me to roll. All right, so that's the shoes. And this first compartment is just for shoes. Okay, so I'm putting my shoes back. compartment now so this is where I keep all my sunscreen little compartment one my spray my zinc my face a little more face I guess I used up my other one let's I mean, look, I got a sample of some aloe up thing. I think I used one already. This is actually pretty good stuff, if you can find it. So out here, out here where I am, um, beginning in like late April, May, uh, it can be 90 degrees, um, 80 degrees at least. And since I play like, at nine in the morning, 11 to 11, um, I definitely need some of that because uh, I get burned pretty quickly. So a uh, word of advice for you guys, uh, if you don't want sunspots, uh, use a lot of this stuff, all right? Just make sure, like all the dermatologists say, at least it's SPF 30, all right? So very important, make sure you have these in your bag. all right next big compartment so these are where I keep my balls so I got different kind of balls for how I feel so right now I'm testing out these technofiber balls um, it's actually a really good ball the quart technofiber ball um, plays just like either one of these two uh, it probably plays more like the US Open ball 
because it came up, comes out of the same factory. So depending on depending on how I feel will depend on which ball I use. Um, if I'm feeling like you know, like my go-to ball is always going to be the U.S. Open ball. I just love the feel of this, and it's um, you know better on my arm. Um, if I'm feeling fast and I'm playing somebody who doesn't hit very hard, I like I like these Pro Pen Marathons because these are a little harder and faster. Um, like I said, these Technofiber balls are like the U.S. Open. I'm testing these out right now. Um, got my sweat towel here. Got an extra sweat cap. So I throw this on. Uh, I probably have two dozen of these. So if you always see me wearing these caps, I've got a lot of them. When I, when I first, when I found these about 10 years ago, I uh, went online and bought four dozen. So I'll always wear these caps. Got a spare pair of pants, just in case I walk out with just shorts. And uh, for some reason it gets cold, uh, I'll put these on. So. And then just in case, I got a bag of bag of towels, these cool towels, just in case it gets really hot and I need to cool off. Um, I haven't opened this bag, but it's been in my bag for probably four years. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's the, it's like a cool wipe, you know, it's a cool wipe, but these are cool. It's made by Fila. You can still get them. All right. So that's that. That's it for that. So throw the pants back in. Next small, the next small thing. So this is a need it. So my left knee bothers me once in a while. So I carry this in this compartment here, in the smaller compartment here, and I put it on my left knee. If, if I feel like I'm not stable or my knee's feeling weak that day. So that's a great product. It keeps that patella uh, straight. So, cause sometimes when I don't wear this, my knee kind of blows up from uh, just uh, you know the grind, the, the pounding of it. So that's that's why I keep that there. If you have any type of patella tendonitis, or if your knee just hurts and you need a strap, try this thing. Um, it's it's got a neoprene kind of soft, uh, not neoprene. It's a cushion in the back here, as you can see. And it kind of wraps around, if need be, wherever your uh, your knee patella is. Your patella sits right here, so it keeps it from uh, moving from side to side too much. All right, that's called the knee it. Oh wait, I forgot the most one of the more most important things. Quanta, this this uh, miracle uh, lotion that I put on my knee. Uh, as soon as I put this on, uh, pain goes away. It's a it's a form of CPD cream that um, you know basically is a Ben Gay or one of those icy hot things on steroids. I mean, it's when when they sold me on this, they said it was one of those ointments times a hundred. So and it definitely does work. So. That's what I have in my bag. Um, okay, so the rackets. So, so I keep my rackets on one of the foil sides. This is the foil side that I like. And they call it Thermoguard 2.0. Right, it's nice and thick. The bag's actually nice and hard. That's why I like it. There's some structure to this bag. Uh, I mean, someday I'll, I'll get a new bag. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Wilson to make a good clash bag because the only one I can get right now is this one, which actually sucks. So come on, Wilson, let's do a tour bag, okay? This is a 15 pack. I need at least a 12 pack 
Everybody out there who plays with a, a Clash is trying to get like a at least a 9 or a 12 pack. So make one better than this one. All right. So All right. So my rackets. As some of you already know from some of the other videos, I play with Clash Tours, which just got renamed the Clash Pros. Now, I carry four of them. So I carry four rackets in my bag, uh, three of them which are weighted and balanced the same. Now, and that's these three right here uh, with the white grips. Now, I'm gonna take the first one. Um, so I mark each one. This one's at 50 pounds. This is my tightest one, okay? And then I have a second one at 45 pounds. Then I have a third one at 42, okay? And I'll explain that in a minute here for you. So I'm gonna take the 50 pound one first and explain something. So these two are strung the same uh, with the same string. This, the 50 pounder one, I like to change out the strings. And whenever somebody wants me to test a string or, um, want me to do a review on a string or just get my opinion on a string, um, I use this racket because I want to try it at 50 pounds and see what the tension loss is on it and um, how it feels. Uh, sometimes I'll string it once, I'll try it twice, and then I'll cut it out because um, you know, sometimes I really don't like it. Uh, sometimes I'll string it and I'll leave it in there for a while just to see how fast it loses tension, how it plays 10 hours down the road, um, and go from there. The string I have here right now is Selenko Confidential 3.0. It's an unreleased string. Um, they just came out with the Confidential 2.0, as some of you know, and that's, that's one of my favorite strings. So the 3.0 is, is actually really good. Um, they probably won't release this for probably another year or two, but they wanted to, you know, get our opinions um, and see how it plays. So far, so good. I mean, this this string has been here for probably three weeks in my racket already, and that's a pretty long time uh, because you know these things usually lose tension really quickly. Um, so the the fifty pounder is the one that I like to change strings on. I want to change it out, see what's new out there, whatever I'm experimenting with. I usually go with the tight one, okay? These three are weighted and balanced the same. Now, I usually put the lead up here, eight holes worth, depending on how the racket started, because not all of these rackets started off the same way. There are variances in these rackets uh, just from the factory. So I adjusted accordingly. Um, I put the lead in the gray area, both sides, both sides here too. Um, full strips of lead here in the throat area on both sides. And there's also four strips of lead right here through here okay so lead throughout the racket uh, this comes out to about 360 grams um, total strung uh, when it's all said and done all right uh, with a swing weight of about 338 so i like a head heavy heavy racket basically a two by four i like it heavy 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 now I use a Pro, excuse me, a Head Hydrosorb Pro on all of my rackets. I don't use an overgrip. Um, I don't really like the feel of overgrips because either they're too tacky for me um, or like a Turner grip or some of those other dry grips, they're too dry for me. So I kind of want a neutral feel and that's what these replacement grips give me is more of a neutral feel because I don't want it to, to stick uh, when I'm changing grips. 
Uh, I kind of want it to let me go a little bit and let me grip it when I need to grip it. Um, so, so I don't use overgrip and I don't use a dampener because I want to feel everything. All right. So why do I have three rackets um, that are different tension? Now, most people carry three rackets because they break strings. I don't tend to break strings that quickly. And, you know, I pretty much cut them before they break just because I'm anal that way. So I always start when I play with the 50 pounder. So at 50 pounds, it's going to be the tightest in my bag. Um, depending on my energy level, uh, we'll see how long this lasts. So if I'm feeling good uh, for my two hour session, I'll play, I'll probably, I'll probably play the whole time with this. Now, if I'm not feeling very good, uh, maybe if I over ate or over drank the night before, and I woke up tired um, and without a lot of energy, uh, this this rack is probably going to go back in my bag pretty quickly. So depending on my energy level will depend on how long I keep this 50 pounder for. So, I mean, sometimes after five or 10 minutes um, of play, I'll pick up, you know, the, the 45 pounder, right? Just because I don't have a whole lot of energy. I, I want the rack to help me a little bit uh, with the looser strings. Now, sometimes I have pretty much zero energy. And I'm, you know, one of those days where you get on the court and you're like, oh man, what am I doing out here? I'm just super tired, right? So after like 15 minutes, I'll go from here to the, four, the 50 to the 45, and I'll go straight into the, the 42 pounder which is my loosest uh, racket of this weight. Uh, and I'll probably play out the rest of my session with this one. Just because I am i don't have a whole lot of energy, I'm pretty much not going to be able to swing through all my shots. So I'll be, I'll be counting on this racket with the looser strings to help me out. So that's why I carry the three rackets with the three different tensions. Now, if you're younger, a uh, little more energy. I mean, string all three at the same tension, right? That's what, you know, that's what most people do. But um, try this, try this. It's probably going to work for you. Uh, at least string one at slightly lower and, and see uh, if you need it, when you need it. Now, why do I carry a fourth racket? So this is a stock Clash tour, like no customization at all. So I, I grip it a little different. I put a Hydrozor Pro still in there, but I put the yellow in there, which to me means this is the emergency racket. So uh, it's lighter. It's going to be faster through the air, more maneuverable. So if for any reason I get to the the, the loosest racket here, the forty two and this still isn't working for me, I probably should just sit it out. I probably should just quit that day. But if I have to play, if I have to play, and somebody's just hitting me off the court, then this is my emergency racket. This is strung at 40 pounds, and it's going to be lighter and faster through the air for me. So just, just to help me catch up to the ball. Um, but I rarely have to go to this. I probably go to this maybe four times a year. Um, that's when, you know, I'm really just didn't get enough sleep over eight, you know, any, any of the, the, the reasons why people are tired before they play. You guys know. Now, what kind of strings do I use? Um, as I was telling you, this green, this, this teal stuff is confidential 3.0. The rest of these, the rest of these is confidential 2.0. So it's it's like my favorite string right now. Selenko Confidential 2.0. Holds tension very well. Um, very predictable. I like predictable strings. Um, I tried the Hyper G. A little too soft for me. Too springy. Um, Torbite, 
a little too firm. So Confidential 2.0 is my string of choice. So my editor just asked a good question. Uh, what if it's hot out? What if it's 100 degrees today? Uh, or what if it's cold out? What if it's 50 degrees today? So that has something to do with the strings um, and the balls. So if it's 100 degrees out, I'm probably going to stick with that 50 pounder longer, right? Because the balls are flying, um, strings are livelier. It's going to be harder to control with a looser tensioned racket. So I may use the 50, I may go to the 45, that probably be it if it's hot out. Uh, most likely I'll get a livelier string bed and a livelier ball. So I'd probably stick with the tighter um, in that case. Now, if it's 50 degrees out and the balls are like rocks and the strings are like super hard and, and firm, um, I'm getting zero spring out of the strings. I'll probably go from this, the, the 50 pounder to the 42 pounder pretty quickly because at a lo looser tension, I'll get more power. I'll get more spin. Uh, I'll be able to um, knock the ball out of there a little harder with a looser string bed. So I'll have to create some liveliness out of uh, the cold weather. So another question, what if it's windy out? Well, you know, I hate playing in the wind. I'm sure you guys hate playing in the wind. Um, the thing about that would be you're probably not going to be in this, this tight one very long either. Because uh, you got to keep your feet moving. You got to keep your energy up. Therefore, you're going to need some help from the racket. So uh, in this case, you're definitely going to need that looser racket. Uh, so you'll get to that 40, that loosest racket in your bag real fast if it's windy. Because you're going to be wasting so much energy trying to get to the ball and then adjust to the ball. That you know, by the time you hit the ball, you're going to need help. Right? Alright guys, so that was my bag check. Um, that's why I carry four rackets in the bag. I suggest you guys try it um, and let me know. Or... If you already do something like this, uh, let me know what you do. All right. If you got any videos that you want me to do uh, next time, uh, definitely let me know. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.